The first and most effective step in protecting your business from cybercrime is reducing the ease of entry by setting strong logins and passwords. When selecting a password, opt for something not easily guessed. Use a combination of upper and lowercase characters, numbers, and symbols to make your password complex. The longer the password, the better. Try to set combinations such as the first two letters of your grade school with the last two characters of your license plate. Never share passwords, and be sure to change introductory passwords before transacting business. Keep passwords fresh and change often, even before systems require you to. Avoid using family member and pet names, public information such as address or date of birth, or sequential characters such as 1234, XYZ, or ABC. When you sign into a web page and are given the option to save your password, select No. Always sign off of online sessions after use and do not leave unattended. Do not ignore warning messages from security software that a potential virus has been detected. Take immediate action to verify that the message is valid and not a bogus message to entice you to install a fix which then actually installs the malware on your system. Do not use public internet access points such as public Wi-Fi hotspots in airports to access accounts or sensitive business information. If this type of access is needed, employ a virtual private network, VPN, and make sure your transmissions are encrypted. Product training tutorials are available in Comerica Business Connect. Be sure to review them and become familiar with each application you use. You'll not only be more efficient with them, but it could also help you recognize if you're being confronted with a scam. As always, consult with your Treasury Management Representative if you have any questions.